I, I love business ambition. I love it when people have aspirations. I, I support that completely and unconditionally. I don't know that esports is the right thing to get into at this time because it kind of – it's all over the place, and I think it's in a it down is. cycle now, but maybe by the time he retires, it'll be an up cycle again. I, I just say this. This reminds me of my official position that I don't want to live past 80. It's easy to say that now. I'll have a different attitude at 79 and 364 days if I make it that far. <laughs> I feel like with Tyree Kill, it's easy to say I'm going to finish this contract and then retire, and I'm only going to play three more years. If he can still play... And more importantly, if someone is still willing to pay him a lot of money to play, Mm -hmm. and it's a lot more money that he's going to make breaking into whatever it is he wants to do. I mean, he's still Mm -hmm. be in his early 30s. You can still play another year or two. Why would you stop? When you have that kind of freakish, God-given ability, why would you stop before the ability has truly evaporated? Unless he just doesn't want to. And maybe because he's so good, he never wants to be anything other than the absolute best at what he does. But I, I'll just say he's going to feel differently quite possibly when he's in what he thinks will be his final NFL season than he feels now. Because three years out for, for a, a pro athlete, three years may as well be 30 years. Yeah, yeah, it, it's true. I mean, especially when you're in the NFL and you know we call it not for long for a reason, right? And, and things can change so quickly and so dramatically, but he will still be only 32 three years from now. So that's not to say that he's going to be at the end of his career, but he will be on the proverbial wrong side in air quotes of 30, right? So I, I don't know exactly what that's going to mean for him. Was that mean that he's going to be a step slower, two steps slower, three steps slower? And then how does that affect how defenses would react to him? How does that affect how he sees himself on the field? All these things are worth asking, I suppose. But I, I think you're right that it's kind of easy to say that now when you know, you're know you still basically in the prime of your career. If you're Tyreek Hill, you've gone out. You've gotten the trade to Miami. You've done all these things in the last year where you were playing with, you know, quarterbacks like Skylar Thompson for some games and you still had a career high and 119 catches and 1,710 yards. I mean, like, Tua Tonga Bailoa did not play every single game last year. So I think that kind of tells you about his ability. And I think that there was one time Tyreek Hill told a receiver that I could get like 100 yards with you throwing me passes, bro. So like Tyreek Hill's that good that you can say to yourself, huh, man, I I think that this ability is going to last for a little bit longer than three years. Well, I remember last year when he launched a podcast and started saying some outlandish things about Patrick Mahomes. He did make the point that he had over 150, I think it was, receiving yards with Matt Moore as his quarterback in a game when Mahomes was, was out with a knee injury. So, yeah, Tyree Kill is awesome, and he's one of the best to ever do what he's doing. And and he, he probably wants to avoid being on the field when the decline happens. That may be the simple explanation. If he can't, if he can't throw the the peace sign up as he's running to the end zone <laughs> with people who think they have an angle on him and don't, people who who think they may have a chance to to lunge and and tackle him and they don't. I mean, when that thing goes up. That, that, that that's a that's got to be a great feeling for him and he probably never wants to be in a position where he can't do that and yeah. uh here he is i mean it's just it's just amazing what the guy can do oh, the speed the agility oh, oh, all the highlights look at whoa, that whoa, whoa. All the that's one of the times that we could have had and we go to the browns game well he wasn't even this on this is the one of the times last year why don't see why how he does it find the one of him with the bills where he's throwing the peace sign up. I mean, that was, that was a much better game, a much more consequential game, you know, in the playoffs. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let's use this one. This sometimes, is much better. I enjoyed this. <laughs> sometimes he'll, he'll keep the peace sign low because he's mm-hmm. aware that it's something he could get fined for. And then sometimes he'll just go ahead and give into the temptation to stick it right in the guy's face. But hey, it's just, the guy's unbelievable. And, and I hope he plays longer than three more years. He's fun to watch. So, And if you're a fan of the Dolphins, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear he's only got three years left. You don't want to be thinking about that because you're going to be a fan of the team for a lot more than three years. You want him yes, to be around true. as long as possible. 
And uh, I think most fans don't want to know that the clock is ticking toward the end of a great player's career because they just they, they, they get anxious about what life will be like after that player is gone. And the Dolphins will, will take a hit whenever Tyree Kill is gone. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.